Hey there, Power Diary friends, Danielle here. So I'm super excited today to come on and talk to you about some enhancements we have made to the internal calendar settings within the Power Diary platform. You've been asking for this enhancement for some time, and I'm excited to announce it to you today. This change is specifically around the clocking set settings within the Power Diary platform. You now have the option to choose between 12 and 24 hour time format. So if you had been in your calendar before, you had always noticed that the time was showing in AM or PM or 12 hour time. But when you went to the time picker, which is this little guy over here, you had seen that in 24 hour time. Now you have the option to choose whether you want 12 or 24 hour format across the board within the internal calendar system. So you may have noticed that your calendar has already changed and you are seeing either 12 or 24 hour format based upon your geo location. Now, if you want to change that, I'm going to show you where you change that. And I'm going to also show you the enhancements we've made to that time picker. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go set up configuration, business info. Here, this houses all of your important business information, and you will see this new time format, which you can choose between 12 or 24 hours. So for this little experiment, we're going to do 12, 24 hours. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I'm also going to show you the enhancements we've made to the time picker. So 24 hours, I'm going to click save. I'll go back and I'll show you what it looks like in 12 hour format. After we're done, I'm going to click save changes. I'm going to jump back to my calendar. And now you will see the 24 hour time. Awesome. Now, let me show you about the time picker and a few changes we've made there. So now again, the time picker is this little guy all over here, a little time picker. So if you want to change that currently, the time picker was set up or in the past, it was set up that the increments of the time picker was in five minute increments. You now have the option to change that. So if you go set up configuration, calendar display, you will notice the minute increments on the time in on the time picker drop down, and you can change those. So again, like I said, it used to be in five minutes. It was defaulted to five. Now you can choose between five, 10, 15, or 30. For our little experiment today, I'm going to do 10 minutes and I'm going to click save changes. All right. So let's jump back to that calendar and let's pick an appointment time. So again, we're in 24 hour time format. I'm gonna pick an appointment over here. I see the 24 hour time and I'm gonna pick the drop down. and here you will see 10 minute increments. Now, if for some reason you wanna do um, a five minute increment, you can go ahead and just put that in there. You can just manually type it in and then you can manually type an end time or pick an end time, whatever you wanna use using the time picker. I'm gonna put it in for my client, Tony Stark. Boom, and the appointment is now saved. Awesome. All right, so what does this look like if you are in 12 hour format? All right, let's check that out. So let's go set up, configuration, business info. I'm gonna swap back over to my 12 hour clock. I'm gonna save my changes. I'm gonna go back to my calendar. And again, now I'm seeing on the left-hand side, the times are in 12 hour time. I'm gonna click a place for an appointment. Awesome. All right, so here we go. Now we see this is not in 24 hour time anymore. My time picker is in um, 12 hour time, which is great. Again, the time picker itself is in the 10 minute increments. I'm gonna click a time. I'm gonna click an end time. Let's give it an hour. I'm gonna add my client. And again, let's do Thor. All right, here we go. And I am going to save. And there you go. Like I said, this enhancement has been something you guys have been asking for for um, a little bit of time. We are super excited to bring it to you. Again, if you have any questions, any questions, you can always reach out to support at PowerDiary.com and someone will be there to assist you and get right back to you about your question. And I know you guys are going to love this new enhancement. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.